The Save and Finish Later extension allows your users to save their current position on a form and return at a later date to complete their submission. Let's take a look at how to set it up. In the Form Designer, select Settings, Extensions, and choose the Finish Later option. This will launch the Finish Later wizard. In the Finish Later wizard, ensure that the status is set to Enabled. Let's leave all the other default settings as is and move to the Password Retrieval tab. Enable the Password Retrieval option and enter the email address and name where the password retrieval will be sent from. Include a subject for the password retrieval email and you can launch the editor to make any changes to the actual email sent. This is the email that will be sent to the user if they forget what their password is to complete their previous pause submission. Let's leave the default and click Save. Select Save again to save our settings. A reminder pops up to let us know that while we have enabled the Save and Finish Later functionality, we still need to add a link or a button on the form to allow our users to click to save their position. Let's do that by inserting a link halfway through the form. We'll change the link text to read, click here to save your position and resume later. Next, click the Actions button to assign an action to this link. Select New and choose the Finish Later Show Save prompt. This will show the prompt that allows the user to save their current progress. Click Finish and then Save to complete adding this feature. Now let's save the changes to our form and open it in a new window. The first thing you'll notice is that the Save and Finish prompt is shown immediately. This allows returning users to enter their username and password to resume their previous paused submission. New users can simply click here to begin a new submission. You can control when this prompt is shown in the Save and Finish wizard. Let's fill out a few fields in the form and then save our current position so we can continue later. Select the link we added and then enter a username and password. A message is displayed showing that our position is saved and we can now close the window. If we look in our database, you'll see that there is still no record. The paused submission was not recorded in our database. It is being held in a temporary table until the user completes their submission. We can change that setting as well, but first let's see how to complete our paused submission. Open the form again in a new window, and this time let's enter our username and password to pull up our previously saved form information. The form is loaded with our previously saved data. Let's complete the form and click Submit. With the form submitted, let's take a look at our database. Click the Reload button, and you can see the submission is recorded. You'll notice there is a Finish Later flag that records some additional information including the status of the Finish Later operation, which in this case is completed. Let's return to the Form Designer and check out one other feature. Open Settings, Extensions, and then Finish Later. This time, let's record Partial Entries. Click Save and save the changes to your form. Let's launch the form in a new window and enter some data. Click to save the half-filled-in form and enter the accompanying username and password. Returning to the database, click Reload and you'll see the paused submission is now shown in the database and labeled as paused. These submissions will be updated once the user completes the submission. Additionally, the Finish Later flag will change from User Ops to Finish Later to Completed. Now you know how the Save and Finish Later function works and how easy it is to add to your form.